Hi guys, just a quick video today. I'm going to show you how to attach your FPV equipment to your Phantom 2. The parts I'm going to use today is a 600 milliwatt immersion RC video transmitter, a Black Pearl 7 inch monitor with built in diversity, a H32D and a Phantom 2. So let's start with the video transmitter. So here we have our components. The first thing I'm going to do is select channel 4 on my video transmitter. Changing the video frequency channels is completely optional, but if you know you're going to go out and fly with other friends that are using immersion RC equipment, then it's worth changing the channels, because as standard all of these video transmitters come on channel 1, which is 5740 MHz. As you can see I've put the first two dip switches to the bottom. This puts me on channel 4, frequency 5800. Now connect in your power cable. The other cable we're going to strip off the unwanted cables. This is going to be the red cable and the green and white. The red cable is just a 5 volt out, so we can snip that straight off. The green and white cables are audio out cables, and as we do not get audio out from our Zemus, then there's no point in keeping them. What you should be left with is just the yellow and the black, the yellow being video and the black being ground. Connect this straight into the video transmitter now. Now cut off the red power connector. I just cut it to the same length as the yellow and black cable. This next part is completely optional, but it helps make the Phantom look a bit neater. All I'm doing is adding a bit of shielding over the cables. To hold the shielding in place, I'm using a bit of heat shrink, one on each end. When I warm this up, it shrinks over the shielding and helps keep it in place. Once this is done, it's time to start preparing for soldering. Trim off a few millimetres of the silicone covering on the red and black cables. Now let's remove our Phantom from the box and get it ready for soldering also. Underneath the grey Zemus cable you will find four extra cables. These are what we're going to connect our video transmitter to. We're going to connect our black to the brown, our red to the red, our black to the brown again, and yellow to yellow. Again, strip a few millimetres from the end of these cables. Once you've done that, separate them. Here I'm cutting small pieces of heat shrink tubing which will go over these cables once soldered. Remember to add the heat shrink tubing now before soldering, once soldered you won't be able to put the heat shrink on. Now let's tin our cables. Tinning just means adding a small amount of solder to the tip of each of these cables. The same tinning process should be done on your video transmitter cables. So let's start connecting our cables. The first cable I'm going to do here is the black cable from the video transmitter. This is our negative for the power. The second cable I'm going to do is the red, which is the 12 volts positive. As you can see, it helps to have a third hand come in and help you. So that's our red cables done. Now let's move on to our yellow cable. Now the yellow is done, all we need to do is connect our last cable. Once complete it should look like this. Our red positive should go to red, our black negative should go to the brown, then our yellow to yellow and black to brown again. 
and after warming up our shrink tubing, you can see our cables are now complete. Now push all of that cabling back inside the Phantom. Now it's time to attach the video transmitter to the bottom of the craft. Here we're using some genuine 3M double sided tape. This tape works very well and I've never had one fall off. You will see that I'm placing the video transmitter to one side. It is important to place it to one side. If you place the video transmitter in the middle, you will find that it is hard to release the battery. Now let's attach our Zemu's gimbal. This is the cable we're going to use. Pay attention to the holes I point to here. These are at the rear and will go to the rear of the gimbal like so. Use two of these black screws to hold the isolation mount onto the gimbal. Take note how I squash the isolation mount to one side. This allows me to put the screws through the screw holes. Mount the isolation mount onto the top arm using the two screws. Now take the parts shown here. Push them through the rubber isolation mounts and then screw them together. Now let's connect our Zemus to the craft. Select these screws. Attach the grey Zemus cable. It's important to do this now. If you attach your gimbal to the craft and then try and do it, you'll find it very difficult. Then place the gimbal upside down onto the craft. Now with a Phillips screwdriver, attach those screws that i just shown you. You're going to use four of these to hold it on. By now you're going to be excited to start up your Phantom for the first time. There's a couple of things that are very important and you need to remember them. Never power up the Phantom without a GoPro already in the gimbal. If you power it up without the GoPro inside, there's a chance you might blow one of the motors. Also, always have the antenna plugged into the video transmitter. Powering it up without a video transmitter can cause it to burn out very quickly. And here is our FPV monitor. It's the Black Pearl. It's a 32 channel diversity 7 inch monitor. The first thing I'm going to do is select band F. Band F is the channel used for the Immersion RC. There are four bands in total that cover the 32 channels. So for example, if you're using a Boscam video transmitter, then choose one of the other bands. This is our first power up. And as you can see, our video is working perfectly. Make sure to test the gimbal. Move the slider on the back of your transmitter and see if the gimbal is moving up and down freely. As you can see our model is working perfectly. That's all for now guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, click one of the other videos that are up on screen now.